It's a hidden dragon world. Wow. Welcome this time with Daniel Chabaz. Today, we're going to be talking about how to train your dragon, the hidden world. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Felt right. Uh, before we get into the review, yes. we have launched, or soft launched. Soft launched our podcast. Our podcast with our friend Anthony and... All that information will be down in the link below, and it's a really cool, long-form discussion about film, news, and just the stuff that we can get into depth on here. Yeah, so if you like movies, or if you love movies, our podcast name is aptly called The Movie Podcast, and it's going to be available across Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you get your podcasts, it's going to be there. So please definitely check it out. Our official launch is March 3rd, mm -hmm. uh, but we have episode 0 and episode 0 0.5 up right now if you want to take a listen. We want your feedback. We want to be able to deliver a really polished podcast when we have it up and running. So thank you for allowing us to keep doing what we do. I will say, though, that by starting a podcast, I've learned there are so many different services out there. Yeah. I only had heard of Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I was like Stitcher, Ditcher, uh, Pitcher. Pitcher and Butcher. And Butcher. Um, <laughs> but if there's one that we're not on, let us know and we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll find a way. So let's jump back into How to Train Your Dragon 3, a.k.a. The Hidden World. That's Again, flying back into um, this So this world. is the third movie in the How to Train Your Dragon series, not including the Netflix specials and oh, right. yes. show specials that have like that. Uh, Shay, break down the plot for us. So I'm going to reconstruct it as best yeah, of my ability. Put it back together. Okay. So Without any major spoilers. Without any major spoilers. So there's a villain named Grimble. Yeah, and he wants to kill the. I guess I guess all dragons or just the night fury. The, the night furies. So he uses he's, the, he uses the night fury. Sorry, as his motivation. Right. Because he let one get away at some point in his life. Yeah. Uh, so he wants to go and kill the dragons. Yeah, or he ki sorry he killed one. He did kill one. He will kill one growing up, and he wanted to. I guess it fueled his fire. Fueled his fire to right to again. Catch them. We'll get more into that later. Yeah. Um, and now he wants to kind of go and kill the dragons, and obviously on Burke. Yes. Is where all the dragons are, and obviously he wants to get there, and he's heard so much about it, and obviously wiped them all out. Right. All at this time, we are introduced to a Light Fury, Bright Fury? Light Fury. Light Fury, yeah. uh, which is the... White Toothless. White Toothless. Yes. And uh, he falls in love with her because he's like, oh my god, there's more of me out there, and then they have to find the hidden world. Where all the dragons and what Hiccup wants... He wants to merge the right. two together. So Hiccup rem uh, remembers a story that his dad would tell him growing up, saying there's this hidden world out there where we can live in peace. Um, and he wants Hiccup wants to be able to take the entire tribe of Burke to this hidden world to live there. And I think that's where the biggest fault of this movie lies right now, mm -hmm. is that the motivations never feel... Um, you never really feel that there's a lot at stake here. No, I mean, everything in this film kind of happens... And they just kind of watch it happen. There's right. no real struggle. There's no real... I guess as it's happening, you're, you're guessing what's going to happen next. And yeah. Like you're predicting. It, you're predicting. Sorry, yeah, yeah. And, and you're going to be pretty much correct what's going to happen right. next as well. Um, overall, there's no surprises here. You know how the ending's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. And you don't spend much time in the hidden world... But you can tell that's where the whole budget of the film went. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, this movie is interesting because there's some moments of just beautiful, beautiful animation. Uh, there's some close-up shots, shots of Hiccup where you like see like the stubble, hair, the stubble on his face and things like that. And there's again in the hidden world, like we see in the art behind us, there's some awesome animation in this. And there's some scenes where it's like, oh, that doesn't Look feel like polished. it, like it matches up. And also the villain of this movie, I think, is the weakest part because he doesn't really feel like a threat. At all. He just is kind of evil for the sake of being evil. I want to kill he has, the Furies because I want to. You know what I mean? There's no real motivation going in. The villain to me felt like a villain you would have in the first film of the series. Right, right. To where set it all just up. like, I want to destroy all the dragons. And I don't remember the first two that well. Again, I this franchise to me never connected. Gotcha. But I, I can understand and I can appreciate it. Yeah, and I think of all the DreamWorks animation uh, projects since Shrek, I think this series has easily been the strongest. Yeah. Um, but that being said, it never, I don't think, at least this film, the first two films, I, we did enjoy them. Yeah. This film never really it never had me, tops that. It, it never gripped you know? it for me. I would say like the strongest moments of this movie come in that last 15, even 15, 20 minutes where yeah. things really start coming together and fans of the movie, I think, are going to really love that part the most of this movie. And I yeah. think the strongest parts of this movie are the, I guess, the interaction between 
uh, Toothless and the Night Fury, the, the Light Fury, Light Fury, Sprite Fury. <laughs> That's a new drink coming out. Uh, of Sprite, <laughs> Sprite Fury. Between that, and I think there could have been a lot more moments of them interacting with each other, or at least kind of exploring the dragon world more, because we kind of get being pulled to hear more about the side characters and things like that. Right. They don't really take us anywhere, you know? They just just feel like filler. Yeah, you just feel like filler right there. Yeah, and again, I guess because we weren't weren't so in love with... I mean, we liked the first two, but we weren't as attached to them. Right. The characters, again, aren't really doing it that much for us. They're not really hooking us in. Um, I think the first two are on Netflix and are a lot of streaming services. Yeah. Which is why I think it's safe to say with this one, you can also... Stream it. Yeah, and it sounds like sounds like we're being negative and down on the movie. It's it's not that at all. Like there's some really cool moments in this movie. Um, the fans will love it. Fans, if you're a fan of this series, hundred percent go see this. In it's theaters. a great send off for yeah. all the fans. But I think if you're just general, or if you're looking in, to get into it, watch the first two and yeah. then watch this one when it comes to home home box office as well. Home box office. Yeah, HBO. HBO. <laughs> when it comes the to HBO cut of this film. When it comes to streaming services, at. probably later this year. Yeah. Also, they should have just want, they should just call this one How to Train Your Dragon Three. Yeah. Like how the first one. It's was a there. really How to Train Your Dragon. The, the part two was just called Part Two. Part Two, yeah. Just because the Hidden World just feels like a, a generic like. Yeah, like rise the, term, you know. Yeah, what I mean? and it just it's too long. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our review. If you like what we're doing, please comment, like, subscribe. Check out our podcast across all your favorite podcast services, The Movie Podcast. That's Shay listening to headphones, and that was this time. And we'll see you next. I oh, thought, thought you couldn't hear me. No, these are noise canceling. Okay. Yeah, they're very cheap headphones. Okay. <laughs>